Hi there everyone, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and welcome to another demonstration today. So thank you for joining me. We are going to be creating this lovely card using our Dinkles and our lovely Stamp Gelanda. So it's an embossing technique. You're going to need some embossing powder. I've got my bright white opaque and I will be stamping it onto our watercolour card. We need our Versamark. Make sure it is completely covered. This acts as your glue for your embossing powders. And then we're going to pop that straight down onto the card. Now give that a good press. Because we're stamping onto watercolored cards, it's got a little bit more texture. So in order to get all that lovely detail, we need to give it a good press down. Okay, let's see. Perfect. So I'm taking my embossing powder, sprinkling that over the top. Make sure we've covered all that area. Let's pop this back into the bottle. And then we're going to heat it up So once the embossing powders has set, we can spritz water and colour and it won't move. So I am going to use Golden Temple Mica Mist. So give it a good shake because you'll have all the mica settle at the bottom. So let's take the lid off and get some colour on there. I'm going to add a bit more water. The more fluid we've got on, the more the dinkles will run. And then I'm going to just take a brush and start adding some colour. Make sure that you have got some paper underneath. So there's no set rule on your colours, you use whichever you like. I'm just bringing in a darker colour at the top there just to give it a bit of depth. And then I'm going to spritz with a little water just to bring that colour down like so. so let's start drawing that off now and the mica is just giving it this gorgeous shimmer um, I'm I'm going to show you under the camera, but I'm not sure you'll see that. It makes the dinkles almost slightly opaque, but it gives it this amazing shimmer. Now I've got a couple of smaller stencil brushes here, and I've got my bit of kitchen roll. And all I'm going to do is start adding some colour and then wiping it back to reveal the white underneath. So and all it's doing is pulling out a bit of depth, a bit of colour in the background there. making Jolanda stand out that much more.
I'm going to use the Twilight, which again is a nice dark, dark colour. So we really are bringing in that depth at the top there. Just makes that white stand out so much more. Going to pop a little of the glamorous on as well. So it's really starting to stand out that much more. We can carry on working that with that if we wish. I'm going to move on now and just stamp a verse. So I'm inking at the twilight. I'm going to stamp off and then just add that lovely verse all the way down the edge like so. I've got my stencil here as well, so I'm going to bring that in. Let's go with Merlot. So a little bit of a textured stencil. Just bringing in a little bit of texture, a little bit of colour gives us depth to the card. So keep working with it, building up lots of layers and you'll be surprised how different it looks. Especially if we darken this edge, it really does start pushing your eye into the centre of the card. So we're going back to Midnight Blue now and our medium size stencil brush. I'm just going to darken that edge a little bit more again. So lastly, I'm just going to go over the top now with the stickles just to pull out a little bit more detail, just following some of those lines. And this, I think, it really does bring it to life. is. So you've got two different ones there, two different colours, no two will ever be the same but that's the whole fun of Dinkles. Thanks so much for joining me again guys, you take care and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.